Welcome back to another Axe Family video. Hope you're having an awesome day today. Hope you got a smile on your face because it's a beautiful, beautiful day today. Whoa, too close. Okay, so uh, Jeff and his wife, the real Martian, they have left the premises. They have left Mars to go to a conference and actually the conference is pretty cool. As you guys know, we're headed down to Los Angeles to do the International Space Development Conference. So we're actually handing the keys over uh, to Cody and his wife Taylor. Um, he said Jeff Bezos is speaking there. There's like a handful of different speakers and Jeff is actually one of the speakers. So he's going to share about uh, what he's doing here and how they're trying to basically learn how to grow crops in a way that if we go to Mars, they would be able to replicate in, you know, similar to what he's doing here and we'd be able to survive on Mars. So uh, we're here taking care of the property, um, primarily the plants and the animals. So um, dogs are taken care of. We got two cows, a couple of chickens, and a bunch of eggs. And then there are two horses and a mule. Good morning. Good morning. So this is Hab 1. This is kind of their first phase of their project. It's basically a giant greenhouse and they have a bunch of plants that are growing on the inside using an aquaponics system uh, which we kind of talked about in the last couple videos and you've probably seen a few clips and so uh, they kind of walked us through what we need to do every day to just keep this place running and let's go inside so i also mentioned before that uh, the shoes that we wear inside the building have to be different than the shoes that we wear outside primarily because they don't want any manure um, from the horses or the cows um, to come into the building. We wrote down a list of everything that we gotta do. So Jeff and Mrs. Uh, Martian, if you're watching this, um, you can see if we're doing everything correctly. Uh, but we just switched the fridge from six and a half to seven. Hi. And what's next on the list? So we need to move all of these uh, trays over to another trays of what? And if you saw them yesterday, these are the radish that I just planted yesterday, and these are in germination. They were all compacted down, and just overnight, last night, you can see how much they've grown up and just shot up, and they've tipped. Okay, we got all those moved, and what's next on the list? We need to feed the fish. Feed the fish. So there are four lanes in here. There's one, two, three, and four. And each lane has fish that are living underneath it. And there's a variety of type of uh, food for them. And so uh, depending on what lane it is, we do a different mixture of the type of food, and we just throw it in there for them. And that's only once a day. Uh, that we have to feed them. Yeah, every other day. Every other day? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So the water from the fish down below gets pumped up into these beds, the lava rocks. And then uh, this is a mechanism designed so that automatically, once the water reaches a certain level in the beds, it will drain back down into the fish tank and give them fresh water. So right now this bed is draining it, all of its water down below and giving the fish fresh water to swim in. Lane three has less fish in it, so we don't have to put as much food in there. All right, this last lane is the lane that the fish go crazy in. Oh, oh! Okay, now that the fish are fed, we need to water the microgreens. Specifically, these are kale.
So next we need to move the kale that they're growing in here onto a shelf um, because it's ready to move out. And what is this? The germination... Station. Station. Chamber. Place. <laughs> I don't know. Basically, it regulates the moisture and the temperature so that the plants can germinate. So then, in the next few days, if these start turning green, if they start sprouting green, which they've already started, um, we'll move those out onto the shelf. One of Jeff's goals is to automate everything. And I don't know if it's absolutely everything, but um, he already has a lot of things automated uh, as far as the plants that are growing underneath with the lighting and the water that they're getting and then the systems as far as the temperature in the building all the HVAC so Jeff designed all of this and they built all of this and even like the software that tells uh, the computers of what to do with the different plants like Jeff designed all that software and he's able to like pull it up online from anywhere in the world if there's Wi-Fi, you know, if he's in town, he can look up on his phone and see how the building's doing. He has warnings that are in place that'll give him signals. So it's really impressive. Like uh, these plants here, like this is a grapefruit tree and you know, it's automated. There's a little grapefruit, there's a little grapefruit. This is a clementine and a banana tree. This is an almond tree, peach tree, apple tree. A variety of trees right here. Uh, there's corn growing over there. So many different types of plants in here. I can't remember all of them. I asked him the other day uh, about bees, like is he planning on having bees as part of the system? And he said that in the plants um, over in this area, they were planning on having bees as well as some other things. So this is the kale that we just pulled out of the germinator. And this is kale that's been out of the germinator for a few days. So some of these uh, kale need some water, so we're gonna water them. Good job, Taylor. So this is a solar system. Ah, I see what I did there, solar system, planets. So this is, the, the whole system runs off of solar power and these solar panels is what provides that. So that's uh, morning chores. There's also a set of chores in the evening. Right now, uh, Taylor and I are gonna be able to just hang out here for the day. This is a super beautiful property and lucky and privileged to be here. We're very thankful that we get to be here and hang out here. Beautiful view of the mountain, super peaceful. I mean, there's birds chirping all the time. It's an awesome place. So we're gonna hang out here today. I'm gonna actually do a bunch of editing. As we've been going and visiting different people, We've been trying to do different projects and things that will help them out. And so Jeff has a YouTube channel like I do, and he has about three videos, he said, of footage that needs to be edited, but he just hasn't had the time to edit it. So today I'm going to sit down and go through his footage and edit those videos for him, which for me, like, that's really cool. Something that um, I've been trying to improve on a lot with these videos, working on my editing and to be able to help somebody else out. Uh, with something that I'm really enjoying. Uh, it's just really fun. If you're new to the channel, my wife and I are traveling full time and we're visiting friends and family. This is our Toyota Tacoma that we're basically living out of and you can see some other videos of how we have our whole setup there and everything. But um, we are just enjoying going out of our way to love others well and we're meeting lots of other YouTubers and seeing friends and family that we haven't seen in a long time. And that's basically what our channel is right now. Uh, whatever is going to happen next, uh, we're probably going to bring you guys along, but we don't know what that next piece is yet. And so thanks for following the journey. If you're new, hit that subscribe button all the way in the bell so that you get notified when we post new videos. Comment down below saying hi. And if you didn't know, there's a big thumb war going on on YouTube right now. And so hit that thumbs up button down below. We'll see you later. Hats off to you.